Hi everybody, welcome back to the YouTube tutorial. My name is Itzadab here. Today I'll be showing you how to add subtitles to Unreal Engine 5. Um, it's actually shocking because Unreal Engine actually has subtitles built in, which I didn't know until today. So um, when I'll walk through this door frame, it's going to play an audio file and a subtitle. So please don't go near that cube. Did I make myself clear? So you can adjust the fonts and everything in the settings, but this is just to show you a general idea. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now here I have a basic first person character controller blueprint scene. Uh, with a few adjustments, there's just a random room here with a yellow cube. And the general idea is I want an audio file to play when the player goes through the door. Um, and the audio file will then play subtitles. Now, um, to do all of that, uh, you first have to know that uh, if you go to your project settings and search subtitle, you can actually see Unreal Engine has subtitles built in as a feature, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can adjust the font here if you'd like to adjust the size and what font it is. I'm not going to do that this tutorial. Um, uh, also important to note, I actually imported a .wav file and I'll have you guys take a listen to it. Please don't go near that cube. Did I make myself clear? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add subtitles to this .wav file. So how you do that is you have to open the .wav file you've created. And you just dock that. Uh, then here down at the subtitle section, you can adjust a couple of settings if the text you said was pretty mature. Uh, manual word wrap in single line. I'm going to do manual word wrap and a single line so that uh, after each break it actually plays a singular line, which I like. And then the subtitles tab here, you can just add a array element. And our first index will actually be the text that's first displayed. And this time is actually not the time of how long it's going to display. It's actually when it starts to display. Um, so I actually made a text document with what I said already pre-planned. So I'm just going to copy that. You can pause the video if you want to add your own text. So here I have insert name here. Please don't go near that cube. Yeah. And then we want to add another array, L index. And this text will be the second line said by me, which is, did I make myself clear, right? And the problem is here is we have two uh, timers uh, that start at zero, which doesn't make any sense. They're two separate lines. So uh, what you want to do is you want to go listen to your audio file and listen where each line cut was and then write it down. Here I know at the second second of the voice line, uh, I said this line. So the time will be two on that. And now you can save and uh, just leave this alone. It's already ready to go. Now we just want to make a trigger that actually plays the sound cue. So we're just gonna right click on our content browser, go to blueprint class, create a new actor which will be our sound trigger and then we'll just open that okay now you just want to go to the components and add a box collision it won't actually be a collision it'll be more like a trigger so then at this details panel you want to scroll down all the way till we see events we want to choose the on component begin overlap so just press that plus button next to it and yeah, now it's set up as an event in the event graph. Um, now, firstly, we want to check if the player in the trigger is actually there, like it's the player. So how you do that is you hold B on your keyboard and left click to make a branch node. That's actually the shortcut for it. Pretty handy. I'll just plug in the execution pin. And this condition, you just want to drag up and use a equal. And then you want to check if the other actor is equal to the get player character so we can compare the character to the actor in the box okay it's basically all we want to do now if that's true that means the player's in the trigger so then we want to do a do once node because we only want this uh voice line to play once and not repeatedly loop 
over and over and play every time we go into trigger. Now after this do once now, we'll finally want to search play sound. Now there's two play sounds, there's the 2D one, which actually plays the sound like it's kind of a song. There's not really any depth to it, it's just like the songs in your ears the entire time, right? Um, but play sound at location actually puts the sound in a specific location in the wall, which actually makes it sound like it's distant away from you. So for this tutorial, I'm actually just going to use play sound 2D. And the sound we're actually going to go and promote to a variable because I want to make it uh, instance adjustable. And so you want to go to this variables tab down bottom left, go to the sound and you see this uh, closed eye. Uh, you just want to check that so it's public. And then you can just compile and save. Go to the first person example map. Just uh, drag out the sound trigger. Uh, then you can press R on your keyboard to bring up the scaling. And then you can just scale it to fit where you want. Uh, and in the details tab, you'll see under default this sound. So you pick the sound you actually made. So now if I full screen, uh, <laughs> then need to full screen there. If you hit full screen, uh, just uh, walk through the Please door. Please don't go near that cube. Did I make myself clear? You can see, yeah, now it uh, triggered the sound file and the subtitles, which is really cool. You can adjust all the font settings and the settings, of course. I just want to show you the general fact that you can use subtitles in Unreal Engine without much hassle. So without further ado guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit like if you liked the video. Hit dislike if you didn't. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Good night everybody.